hi guys in this video we will learn how to add confirmation box before delete item in laravel live wire so let's get started with an example and let's understand so here you can see that i've already created products component and simply display all the list of products over here and let me show you the code so simply go here there is a blad file simply display all the products same thing if i go to the products component class you can see that list of all the products get and print it out over here okay so now what i will do simply add delete button over here and i will add sweet alert so let me go here and show you from the example so confirmation box i will use from there like something like that are you sure you want to delete and if you say yes then it will dispatch another dispatch another method okay so let's get started and let's see okay so let me go here and first of all i will add action column over here so i will say action and here i will be add another dd and i will add button and i will use bootstrap class so i will say btn btn danger and then i will say btn sm okay and delete will be content okay simply save it now if i go and refresh you can see that there is a delete okay simply click on it it should be delete okay so what i will do the next simply i will add a click event wire and i will say click and i will say product delete function and inside the bracket i will pass the product id so i will say product id and simply save it okay and now let me go here and i will say public function and here say product delete okay and inside the bracket i will say id and here i will be simply display the id simply save it okay and now i will go here and simply there is no log okay so what i will do simply go here and click on delete and if i go to the log you can see that i am getting the id of the product okay now what i will do i will write some code over here and like call javascript again so what i need to do so simply dispatch one event over here and that dispatch like that event should listen inside the javascript code so what i will do simply go here and i will say script and i will say and script okay and here i will be say script remove the javascript okay and now what i will do simply go to the sweet alert and first of all i will install it and i will use ctn simply copy this and go to my layout file simply paste it over here okay now what i will do simply go here and i will use dollar wire dot on and i will use confirm okay and here i will say save it and here i will be simply say alert okay first of all and save it okay and now what i need to do simply when i click on it here i will be use this dispatch so dispatch is a function and then i will say confirm okay simply save it okay that means when i click on that button it call product delete function and then it's called dispatch the event so it's again read by wire javascript code okay simply save it okay and now let me go here and refresh click on it you can see that so it's called the javascript function alert function now what i will do i will also pass the id so let me go here and let me pass the id as well so i will go and i will say id colon dollar id simply save it okay and here i will go and have it here i will say event so i will say event dot id and simply save it okay and now if i refresh it click on it you can see that one if i click on it that you can see that i got three okay so now what i will do simply go here and go to the again example and i will copy the confirmation box okay so simply go here copy this and simply add it over here okay simply go and what i will do the next if the confirm i will simply say alert 
save it okay and now let me go and refresh and click on delete you can see that are you sure and if i cancel it's nothing but if i go and if i say yes then you can see that that pop-up are open over here now what i mean what i need to do i simply need to dispatch again dispatch the event and call inside the class okay so what i will do i will write over here first listener so what i will do first of all i need to create one method over here so what i will do simply add the function so public function and i will say delete okay and here i will be say simply i need to use live wire so i will say live wire slash attribute attributes and i will use on okay simply save it and here i need to define that this is the event that listen from the javascript code so what i need to do simply on and inside that i will say delete okay so simply sorry not this way should be like this way on and here i will be say delete okay save it okay and now here i will be simply info and here i will be say simply save it okay now what i will do simply go here and here i will be say dollar wire dot dispatch and here i will be simply say delete okay what is the name given the name over here that you need to pass over here okay simply save it okay and now let's see first okay so if i go and refresh click on it and if i say yes and now if i go here and go to the log file you can see that here so i can get the text i can easily call event from the javascript code now what i will do so i will simply pass the id as well so what i will do the next i will say id and that id comes from the event dot id simply save it okay and inside over here i will say dollar id and here i will be display the id okay simply save it okay now if i go to the refresh click on it say yes and now if i go you can see that i can get the product id as well now what i will do simply go here and remove the product so i will say product find id and i will say delete okay and now if i go through the and refresh and if i click on it and click say yes you can see that it's removed from the list same thing if i go and delete you can see that 10 number product is also removed so you can easily understand how we can call event from the class and you can see that this confirm event call inside over here like wire.on and after that we call event from the javascript code and call the live wire class event okay so you can easily understand how you can do that so this was very simple and basic example if you learn and if you like this video then please i will also capture more videos about this and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys